We all know bowling and going to the driving range is fun things to do on a day off, but have you ever considered axe throwing? Me neither, but here in Burlington at Burley Axe, you have the chance to make it a new hobby. Let's go inside and check it out. I like to say it's the thunk that counts. Even if you don't hit a bullseye, you get one to sink right in and it's, it's a very satisfying feeling. It's the bullseyes though that these axe throwers are trying to hit, particularly during tournament nights on Mondays and Wednesdays. It's a carnival game that's going wild, what can I say? A carnival game that doesn't just end when you've decided to move on from the booth, but lets you play four games a week for a seven week session. But similar to a carnival game, anyone can try it out. We've had folks with only one arm, We've had folks with uh, shoulder injuries that, you know, maybe we modify the way th they throw a little bit. Katie Watson manages Burley Axe and puts to rest any potential stereotypes about axe throwing. I mean, I've had bachelor parties come in, they look at the red safety line and they go, what's that, the women's tee? Johnny, you're going to throw from up there. And then I come in and I'm like, hi, I'm Katie, I'm going to be your coach today. Rules of axe throwing are simple. 81 points are available over five rounds. Inside the outer circle is one point, then three points, and then the bullseye is five, and then on the fifth throw of each round, a player can call clutch, and they have to hit the green dot. That's seven points. Zach Cousineau goes by Clutch Griswold. He attempted to teach me how to throw. The rule is that you have to start with one foot behind the line. Just one foot has to be there, and then as you step, you can go up to the red line, but not touch it. So... Start with the axe in front of me, just like that. So now to try and replicate that, let's start with a two-handed approach. That is the most typical first throw. That was better. Uh, come back half a step. Not much success there. Let's try one-handed. There you go. It works. <laughs> <laughs> that, but, so this one wouldn't be a bullseye because more than 50% so, is outside the line, right? Correct. All right, I'm feeling a bullseye coming. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> take it. <laughs> now he's ready. When that person's face lights up, when they, you know, even just stick it for the first time, let alone a bullseye after they've been struggling for a few minutes, like that's, that's the most satisfying part about coaching. With so many sharp axes flying on a nightly basis, there must be injuries, right? Apparently not. I think people show up to a place where they're going to throw axes on their best behavior because they can see there's obviously a potential for something to go really wrong. All of those videos that you see online where the axe flies back at somebody's head, they're throwing the wrong axes, they're throwing at the wrong wood, they're standing too close, um, there's no floor matting on the floor. Um, so really, we take safety really seriously. What's the most common injury they deal with? Getting a splinter, either from the axe handle or the target. Well, that was quite an experience. As you can see, it only took me a few throws to pick it up. Hopefully, you can have similar luck. For now, reporting in Burlington, I'm Taylor Viles with Sports.